Hey everyone, Kevin here, Brick Building Biker. Well, today I think we're going to go out and about and uh, check out some stores in, in uh, this lovely city of ours here and, and see what kind of stuff we can find. I'll take you along for the ride here. These are stores that sell Lego and other products, of course. Um, but they have a, f a big stock of Lego generally uh, as well as all of the other stuff they have and we'll, we'll take a look at that and we'll, we'll look a little bit more in depth of that as well as hitting some of the stores that we already hit um, mastermind toys is um, buy one get the next one 50 percent off today so i mean that's a smoking deal that's worth more than vip points that's worth more than double vip points so um it's worth a look so we're going to go take a look there and and rumor has it, the new Imperial Shuttle's out, even though it's not March 1st, and it doesn't release till March 1st, Mastermind Toys generally gets them in sooner. So, but they, they put them on the shelf before uh, release date. So, we're going to go check that out, maybe grab something there. Um, secondly, the thousand subscribers. Um, wow, thank you very much, I really appreciate that. Uh, this was started out as just having some fun. I'm never going to, I'm never going to do this full time, but I enjoyed doing it. So I'll, I'll keep it up. Um, but that was my first goal. Of course, I've always set little goals for myself. First one with a thousand subscribers. I've got my next goal set already and you know what? I'll work away. I'll pick away at getting there. Um, this, this has, I've been having fun doing this. It's kind of part of the relaxation of the Lego I think for me too and and like I've said before it serves a lot of my hobbies it gets me back into my camera stuff it gets me heavy back into my Lego um, so I thank you guys for the follows and the subs I, I really really appreciate that uh, and, I, and I hope to keep giving you guys some decent enough content that you stick around and, and hey let's gain some more so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go out and about and, and just hit some travels there and, and uh, or hit some stores and, and see what we can round up and um, see where the road takes us today sort of thing. And always, I always have a great plan set out and then it goes downhill from there. So that's, uh, that's part of the fun of it, I guess. So yeah, let's go check out these stores and, and not only will we look what they have for Lego, we'll kind of look what they have for other products and, and um, I know my buddy story was talking about possibly having some fun opening some packs of stuff, so let's take a look at that. I mean, that's always, it's always fun to spend someone else's money. So uh, yeah, on that note, I'm going to go hop in the car and we're going to go for a little drive. All right, so here we are at our first stop of the day and it's, uh, well, it's Mastermind Toys as you can see up there. Um, so this is a shop in Canada, a uh, big toy store. They've, they've got a fair amount of stuff in here. So, but the big deal today is they have, they put out a, a coupon for buy one, get the next set for 50% off. So pretty good deal, pretty hard to pass up deals like that. So we are gonna go inside the store here uh, in a couple minutes when they open up and uh, see what they've got. Hey guys, so we're in the store here and yeah, they've got a fair amount of selection, but you know what, it's not March 1st and uh, where is it? Doot, doot, doot. Those are already out. So Mastermind Toys tend to do that. They release before street day, which they can do. They're just not allowed to advertise. So pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to take a look around. There's there's a fair amount. I'm going to flip the camera around and let you guys have a boo here. They've got, a, like I said, a pretty good selection of, of Lego. And then we'll look at the other stuff because we're going to do that in the other stores too. Every All these other stores that I'm going to today, they have other stuff. They don't just carry Lego. So um, we'll uh, flip the camera around and we'll take a look at everything they've got. All right, so you can see they've got uh, way up top there, they've got some uh, Hogwarts stuff, they've got Yoda, Technic stuff. Some Technic stuff up there, Super Mario Bowser's Castles up there. Um, all of the city stuff they've got down here. And like I said, they've got a fairly good selection of stuff for, for not a huge, huge store. There's the Iron Man head down there, Wonder Woman, the Technic. Ooh, another excavator. Oh. Ninjago stuff. Um, I, I think that's a new Ninjago set. I'm not 100% sure. I don't really follow it close enough to know what's new other than the, the big, big stuff. Um, you got some more 
art stuff up there. There's only one Sith art left. Um, Ninjago. I'm going to grab probably that guy there. It's not huge on my list, but eh, I was grabbing one anyway, so I may as well grab it. They even have the Imperial TIE Fighter in. Something in the Lego store um, <clears throat> hasn't even had in for a while. Almost because I want to... There's only one of those guys. I want to build a whole hangar scene with those guys in there and stuff too. So if there's multiples of those, I probably would have picked them up because that would have been 75 bucks for two, which is a pretty good deal. But yeah, we'll grab our stuff here. I like this guy too. This was a fun set. Sith TIE Fighter. It's pretty cool. I like that Major major Vorgs or whatever. It was That's one of my faves. Um, just looks good on the shelf. So yeah, let's take a look around. Alright, so check this out. So this is uh, Lego's new thing, this video. And it doesn't release till March 1st as well, but of course Mastermind Toys has it in stock. So yeah, they have these little uh, sort of beatbox things. And each one, there's four different characters and what have you. Um, and you can make these little videos out of them. You can place the characters wherever and... and uh, it's kind of cool, and they actually have copyrighted music stuff that you can add to the videos, and, and uh, you can put it online and check it all out. So yeah, these guys are 25 bucks for the just for the base um, pack. This cool music's about to fire up, and uh, <clears throat> these are blind packs of the figures, and there's a whole bunch of different figures, but they're 4.99 a piece, uh, Canadian, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I definitely don't think we shouldn't. Not really something I collect, but. That eh, might be cool. Give it to Aiden or something. So they have all the Playmobil stuff. It's kind of funny. I'm looking like, you know, Lego did Back to the Future. Lego did Scooby-Doo. Lego definitely did these two. Lego do Pirates? Uh, of course. It's kind of funny. I don't know. Wouldn't be surprised. I don't even know. It might be a thing. Comment if you know. Is Lego Playmobil? <laughs> oh. Lego did Ghostbusters, so pretty neat, um, but yeah, it's just a different line, and like I said, this store has a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to do a pan around here, they have books, they have everything, build, other building stuff, Beyblades, um, tons of stuff in here, they don't carry figures or like anything like that, but they carry all of, uh, you know, everything for every age group of kids, so it's kind of cool. They have a little bit of RC stuff and um, well worth a stop by. All right, so our first stop is done. Uh, ooh, get rid of this thing. Boop. And uh, yeah, stop one, made a purchase. Um, could not pass the deals up. Buy one, get one 50% off. Yeah, it only makes sense. So. Uh, We'll head on to our next stop. We'll make our way, uh, I think, to West Ed. We'll check out the Lego store if there's not a huge lineup. We'll go see my buddy and uh, see what he's up to and see if I can't talk him into getting into some trouble. All right, so our second stop today is obviously the Lego store. Uh, well, they always have Lego sets. So nothing really in there today that we're gonna even wanna see. It's, it's, um, it's right before March, so all the new sets will be coming out tomorrow, but we're going to go in and check out the brick a brick wall. And, but this is one of the other frequents. It's a Saturday morning stop of mine. Just about every Saturday, come in, see what they got. I mean, if there's tiles on that wall, you know we'll be buying some because i got a lot of stuff to do. i got a lot of other ideas i got to find a whole bunch of tiles for. So um, we're going to head in here. They're going to open up in a couple minutes and see if they have anything good for me. Yeah, I think we will be picking this guy up here shortly too, but... I got a couple other plans on the go right now, so this will get uh, purchased. I guess it will find a way on a shelf after my next idea. Of, once I get a whole bunch of parts and pieces, I've got a good uh, or, uh, display ideas for these guys. So, yeah. All right, so we just saw this stuff over at Mastermind, but check out this build. They have the whole DJ booth here, and this thing's all set up. It's even wearing roller skates. Check this out. <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome and it plays the same funky music that we saw on the display at uh, mastermind let's go check out the pick-a-brick all right so we'll take a look at the pick-a-brick wall here they've got 
we put a few new things out, but nothing that I'm really looking for today. I'm kind of looking for tiles. I really need tiles. They put out some chairs there, it looks like. Um, this is kind of a cool color. But nothing I'm really looking for today. Um, still have a ton of the brooms. Lots of those left in stock. I should pick up some of the uh, uh, brown brick because uh, I'm going to need a whole bunch of that and they do have that in stock like the 1x2's they've got lots of 2x2's 1x3's I'm going to need all that stuff but I got another plan for that oh we got some black rounds up there but not exactly if those are greys I would buy them up because you can make really good cobblestone out of that 1x4 uh, dark grey good stuff 1x3 uh, yeah, so not too much that we're looking for today. These, I bought a whole bunch of these. These are handy when you're doing some tubular, or like some round builds on corners and stuff like that. So I picked up a couple of cups of those. I did get these guys in. So those look good. Um, but again, nothing I really need. If those were blue, like uh, blue, I would be all over that stuff, that's for sure. I did grab some of these there the other day. Um, these clamps are good for stuff, but not too much. I wish they had these in brown. I would get a whole bunch of those because definitely in need of that stuff. Oh, they put out these dots too. Looks like they're getting more and more of the dot stuff in, so if you wanted to do a whole bunch of mosaic stuff, you'd be able to do that no problem. Oh, look at that. That's good stuff too. All right, so nothing here we need today. All right, so finished up in the Lego store. I managed to get one little bag. I uh, just get one uh, pick a brick cup because I did find some just uh, small one by two tiles when I was there. So um, now we're going to head into uh, my uh, other favorite store, which is West Edmonton Coin and Stamp. Uh, this is my buddy's Jack store. So he uh, he has a little bit of everything. Uh, again, there's there's figures. Now you've seen it in other videos and stuff like that, but um, we're going to go in and see what he's got on the shelves and stuff but he does also carry Lego he's got some of the bigger sets and stuff like that and he's uh, getting more and more stuff just trying to stockpile and, and be one of those stores that has lots of aftermarket Lego stuff uh, on the shelf so let's go in and see what he's got all right so just came to buddy's store just just a little backstory he bought himself uh, he, he saved his pennies and he bought himself a toy uh, so he bought one of the new mid-engine Corvettes and it's kind of cool not a lot of people get to see this so this came by a courier to his house the other day so he's gonna allow us to uh, pop it open and take a look at it and uh, it's super neat so it comes with this nice card in it as you can see nice little logo there I'm just gonna pull this stuff out I'm just gonna cover over his name and the VIN number um, so it just gives a little blurb on you know thank you very much and it, it matches his um, his VIN number and all that sort of stuff and and then they also give him the closed course um, Corvette and you. So this is the Ron Fellows um, uh, course in Vegas. So he just has to call and register that and then uh, he can uh, go and do his uh, driver training as you will. They basically put you on a closed course and let you bag the heck out of one of their vehicles. Which is fantastic. So we're going to take this out of the box and take a look at it. Oh wow. So his, uh, his car, I want to call it like um, burnt orange. It's it's like the Oilers orange. So um, this is supposed to represent that. So look at the box. I mean, it's like this is like the Black Series stuff. Half of the stuff is <laughs> display, like box display. It's pretty cool. So we pop it open and oh wow, wow, was that ever neat? So we're gonna pull it out so you can get a really good look at it here. It's got. Uh, kind of funny it's got dust on it already just from the box top but that can be wiped off easy enough so let's take a boo with this guy so it gives the VIN of the car 2020 Corvette and then it's painted the exact same color of his car but it's like a it's like a paperweight but it has the same body line molding and all that sort of stuff and very nice piece they do stuff like this uh, in a lot of these situations I mean even when I bought my motorbike uh, same thing they sent me this big placard with my name on it and the picture actually of my my actual bike and that sort of stuff on it but that is very cool nice little piece and 
sits really flat. So cool thing about this, I didn't even realize, but um, so it's on this base and like I'm, I'm showing it like this, I'm looking around, I thought those were like screw holes on the bottom. No, it's an actual paperweight, so you can actually take it off this bad boy. And it's got a felt bottom, so you could set it down on whatever. So in those uh, cold Alberta winters, you can be staring at your Corvette on your desk, holding all your bills for purchasing it. But uh, yeah, nice little piece that not many people get to see because not many of these cars out there. All right, as normal, I talk people into doing dumb things. So um, part of, I used to collect hockey cards a lot. I haven't done hockey cards in forever in a day. Um, but one of the higher products was the cup. And this is a, a, a pack, if you will, of the cup. And uh, the price on this stuff is through the roof. Um, I, you know, people collecting, and it's no different than Lego or whatever. But this stuff is selling for $1,500 a pack now. Um, but, you know, browbeat Jack a little bit. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna open one just to you know check it out show you guys kind of what it's all about and what's going on in here and, and and see what it's like I've never personally bought any of this stuff when I was collecting hockey cards Which was quite a few years ago. I never bought any of this stuff because it was definitely just out of my price range um, It's not for everybody, but it, it's uh, it's a very cool product and they do very neat things with it as We're about to find out and yeah some of the stuff I know Back in the day, and I, don't quote me on the prices, but back in the day when I when this stuff first came out, uh, Crosby's rookie year was ridiculous. Like his rookie card in that set, if you got a multicolor rookie card, was thirty some thousand dollars or something goofy. So, you know, it's it's a very high end product when it comes to cards, but uh, as you'll see, it's it's quality. It's just very high end. So it comes in the box. You open up the box. Comes in a metal tin. Okay. Um, it was cool because I always collected the metal tins because the guys who were collecting this stuff didn't want all the tins So I, I got a whole bunch of these. I still have a whole bunch of them at home. So you open it up It's like a box inside a box so There's the pack. So that's that's the full pack of cards And it's closed up as well So we're gonna just Get rid of that Palms are sweating never opened up something so expensive before so here we go let's see all right I don't even know what the card count is in a box but we're gonna pull these guys out and they, they're very good with doing uh, integrating parts and pieces into the card so let's see what we got here got Jordan Bington St. Louis Blues tan jam will love that one um, and these guys are numbered so that's 40 out of 249 so there's 249 of these cards um, so that's our first card this is the rookie card in the set so it's Blake Lizette Lizette and you can see this is a piece of his actual rookie jersey so it's a tricolor see that very good there so it has the three different colors. There's the sparkle from the St. Louis, there's the Earth from the LA, there's the white, and there's the black. So that's very cool. There's 94 out of 249 of that. Oliver Wallstrom, another, uh, and these are all autographed too, right? These are all hard signed. So the player is actually hard signed the cards. It's not on a piece. This is 17 out of 50. So it's uh, uh, exquisite endorsement relics. So it's his actual jersey. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So this is very cool. Autograph card, Yarmer Jagger, Mario Lemieux. Uh, wow. This is off the charts. Uh, holy crap. I'm shaking. Oh, day with the cup signature combos. Yarmer Jagger, Mario Lemieux. Um, this is going to be rare as hen's teeth, I'm sure. They don't even have a number on it. I don't know if it's... They probably did a few of them, but holy smokes, check that thing out. It's cool, they signed it with the blue. Very cool. Very cool card. That's definitely my favorite. Uh, cup trios, so they won the cup. It's just patches of their jersey, and this is just happens to be just three different colors of patch, as you can see. Seven of 33, so there's only 33 of these cards total. 
Oh, well. So, and this is another rookie auto patch. So, did we get two rookies in this? We did get two rookies in this. Wow. Uh, rookie auto patch exquisite collection. So, Alexander Volkov. And it's another three color. So, it says Tampa Bay jersey. So, you see the blue in there. You see the white and the black. Uh, there's 92 of these cards. 31 of 92. But, I mean... Where is, holy smokes. Like, the thing with this stuff is, is yes, it's expensive. All right, sorry about that, my battery just died. So I just replaced it. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that is, that is something else. It's pretty cool. That being said, um, everybody wants to open another pack. So, let's oblige. Um, this stuff is very addictive, very cool to look at, I mean, these cards will individually sell for a fair amount of money, so uh, you can definitely resell them or just display them or keep them if, you're, if it's your thing. Um, all depends what you want to do. It's fun to open them, but it's, uh, it's one of those tough things. It's not like the Lego side of things where you can open it, build it, and display it and look at it forever. These guys you put in cases and, and uh, don't look at for a while, or, or you can display it. or what have you, but there we go. Open that up and again. Dump the tin out. Dump the tin, we've got another pack. So, a cup. 2019 2020. Of course, we want to see something McDavid. I mean, let's be honest, we're Oilers fans here, first and foremost. But, this stuff is just cool to look at, just about anything that um, that you get out of it. Because, it's, like I said, they do such a nice uh, job of... And I get this isn't everybody's thing. Oh, wow. So, I think when you, uh, when you open up the pack and something's in a case already, it's got to be good. Oh, Lord. This is a silver card. It's actually made of silver and it's carry price. Wow. Wow. You have received a trading card made of two troy ounces of brilliant 0.999 fine silver. Key element in the Stanley Cup. We hope you enjoy this piece of hockey history and continue to keep, uh, keep you as close as we can. Enjoy the trading card. Holy smokes. That's a keeper. And it's a, it's, his, it's a replica of his rookie card, which is... It's Carey Price. I mean, let's be honest. He's uh, He is one of the best. As much as I don't like Montreal, he is one of the best. Next one we got in there is a rookie masterpiece, and it looks like a plate. So, congratulations, you've received an authentic printing plate. So that's exactly what that is. It's uh, Zadina. Um, the rookie uh, printing plate, so this was off his card, and that's just what uh, that they use to actually manufacture all the cards. Like what you see here, there's I think four or five printing plates per per card. So that's kind of cool. Another another piece. This is I believe one of the base cards in the set. So or, uh, Barkov, and that yeah, that's just a standard card in the set. 106 out of 248. So we'll put them in the standard pile. The rookie in this set is Cole Sherwood, his rookie card. And again, they do a good job with the patches, so it's a hard signed autograph. He's got uh, three colors there, which is very cool. Nice rookie card. Reamsdyke, very nice. James Van Riemsdyk, three color patch, again signed, exquisite endorsement relics. So it'll just tell you on the back of the card that it was, this was used in a um, official game and what have you. Very neat card. And then we got another rookie. It looks like they're doing a couple rookies per pack, which they didn't do before. And these ones are way more limited. So this is 36 of 36. Um, 
Very cool. I always like when you get the end number or the beginning number. So this was the very last card in the set, hard signed. And 36 of these cards total. That's it. That's what makes it so rare and when guys collect the rookies out of all these sets, they've got to get, there's 36 cards of this in the world. So pretty neat. So uh, yeah, definitely some neat stuff here. This thing, I don't know, I don't know if Jack will miss it. Uh, I mean, he might notice me take it. But wow, is that ever impressive. And it's heavy. Like there's way to it. It's two troy ounces. So it's a two ounce hockey card made of silver. That's <laughs> so cool. All right. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, yeah, we're going to, okay. I mean, far be it for me to, I love opening this stuff. Uh, and this isn't an everyday occurrence, people. Like this is... This is investment sort of stuff. Not my investment, of course. This is Jack's investment, but um, it's pretty cool to be part of it and check out kind of what, what's going on. So we just took the wrapper off. So 2019, 20 upper deck. This is the third one. So let's get into this guy faster. I'm a seasoned professional in this opening now. Um, this is kind of the, the fun part of the stops today. Oh, come on. Like I said, I haven't done cards in a long time, and it's, I probably shouldn't be doing this because now I'm going to want to do it. I, back in the day when I was collecting cards, um, you know, I, I really loved opening them, and it was the thrill of the find and the, the hunt and that sort of stuff. But um, my wife would always organize them. So, again, there's the tin. It's pretty cool in itself. Good to stash your candies in. So, the cup. All right. Crack this guy open. Now, if we get a silver McDavid card, I'm literally going to run out of the store as fast as I can. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be <laughs> chased. But here we go. Let's see what's on the top. Not as good as the last pack. We can say that. So, just a standard base card in the set. All right. So, a standard base card. Uh, we got an Adam Fox rookie card, is the next one in the pack. Uh, three color, which is cool. Oh, this is very neat. Overshadowed. Jake Gunsel. So, this is an autographed card. Um, looks like his Pittsburgh card there. It looks like a, definitely a Pittsburgh jersey. It is. It's the old retro Pittsburgh jersey. Very neat card. There's 25 of these guys in the world. So, Cool part of the penguin there, you can see him, you can make him out there. That's neat. Jersey card. And then we got, I know they used to do draft board cards. Um, push those down in there, it's going to be easier. So here we got drafted 2018 first round. It's Oliver Wilshire, we're Wilstrom, sorry. Uh, 75 of 75, so the end card again, that's kind of neat. Autographed. Cheesy autograph. Then we've got a Foundations card, Alex DeBranket, and uh, uh, four, four different patches in there, which is kind of cool. Five of 15. Sorry, Calgary people, I can't be happy about this one, but it's Matthew to check. It's the turtle. So, cool four color patch um, of a player that's despised in Edmonton, but uh, yeah, very cool card neat stuff and that is that all right so here's an overview of everything that came in those of course there's the carry price card which is huge the Lemieux and Jaeger huge in my books and then here's all the other cards that kind of came in there that that shadow one is neat 75 of 75 on that one and then we got on the Boston one was 36 of 36 which is super cool but yeah as you can see, they're, most of them are autographed. The base cards stayed the same, but uh, just something kind of cool today to do um, in our travels. And then also, like I was saying, um, he is definitely getting into the Lego, um, and he's changing the whole store around. So he's gonna, he wants to be more, have more of the exclusive and the older stuff and the vintage sets, and he'll pick up all that stuff. He's got some more stuff over here. There's some stuff in the front window, but he's gonna be changing some shelving around and moving some stuff out and moving some more Lego stuff in 
just to try to fill that market because there's there is definitely a, a spot for it. Um, he's got so much stuff in here that, like I said, we'll do a tour of everything. Everything around here. Sorry, I didn't flip my mic around, so the sound's going to be kind of crappy here, but you'll get the point of it. So, um, but yeah, there's uh, there's going to be lots of neat stuff coming in the store here shortly, and, and uh, stay tuned. And that's West Edmonton Coin and Stamp in West Edmonton Mall, right by the liquor store. All right, so just to show you this stuff, uh, I'd never seen these before, but Lego Mosaic um, three four three three. Three, four, three, three. It has all the same part numbers, but no, I have these actually on the front it changes. So it goes three, four, three, four, four, three, one, four, four, three, 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 two, three, four. So there's a tiger mosaic, dino mosaic, Johnny Thunder mosaic, cat mosaic. But these are all sealed. These are sitting at Jack's store. Pretty neat piece. Like I said, never seen it. Just thought I'd share it. So here we are, we're at our second stop, which is uh, Wayne Sports Cards and Collectibles right across from the mall. So really good store. He's got lots of cool stuff in here. We're just waiting for, uh, they're at numbers right now inside, but we're next in line. So we will go inside and uh, check out his shelves. And yeah, if it's from what I remember, he's got a lot of cool stuff in there. So we will go check it out. All right, so we're in Wayne's right now. Um, of course, there's tons to look at. I'm going to uh, turn the camera around again here and we'll kind of just go through all the stock. He's got lots of older sets, um, very reasonable price. There's stuff that's it's, it's asking price. It is what it is. I mean, it, a lot of this stuff on the secondary market is going for a high dollar, so that's, that's the way it is. But a lot of the stuff he has is actually very reasonably priced and it's in stock. So like today I was talking about that Major Vord's uh, TIE Fighter, he has one here at the normal retail price. Well, you can't find that anywhere, it's not available in LEGO stores. So I'm going to flip the camera around here and we're going to take a, a look at everything else. So starting back here, he's got his city stuff. There's the train. It's the red cargo, $3.99 he wants for that. Um, all the city sets, like he, there's current stuff here, there's retired stuff here, like I said. Lots to look at. So I'll try to go as slow and best as possible so you guys can see everything that's on there because everything I won't touch on. Police boats, helicopters, friend sets. Um, more of the city stuff. And it, like I said, the donut shop, 119. I think that's actual asking price at Lego. Uh, 179 for the Mountain Police Headquarters. That sort of stuff. More friend stuff here. Lots of friend section. Kind of accommodating it all. There's the uh, City Harbor boat ship floats. $4.99 for that guy. Um, moving down, I hope I don't see anything that I absolutely have to have. I'm, I'm sure I will. More friends. There's the Marvel section. So as you're seeing, there's a whole bunch of cool Marvel stuff. Oh, that's a set there. This is actually really neat. I never did this set, I never bought this set, but uh, it's the Ultimate Bridge Battle, $2.19. Um, I'm assuming that's the Bricklink price on it, which is totally good, um, totally worth it. It's kind of a cool bridge, actually. You could incorporate that into uh, just about anything. Um, ooh, lots more French stuff down there. So then now into uh, more Marvel stuff. That MTT, I saw that the other day, 449. My buddy actually had one of those and I passed on it. I should have probably grabbed it, but eh, it's all good. Can't get everything. Can't get everything. Now into the Star Wars stuff. Lots of Star Wars stuff. Lots of sets that I'd be very interested in picking up. Some of the older stuff that I hadn't grabbed or I'd gotten rid of at one point. That's the other thing, right? They have current stuff. Like I think he believes in story now. And they're $49.99. Like he's actual Lego pricing for it. So if Lego doesn't have it in stock, there you go. The uh, Red 5 X-Wing Starfighter, 449. Very fun build, very cool build. This is all the more of the bigger stuff up here in the more sought after Imperial Assault Carrier, 299. Star Destroyer, 499. There's the, uh, one of the Hoth sets. That's not the one I have. Hoth Echo Base, at, -AT. Of course the Sandcrawler. Pretty good price for that, two ninety nine, I guess. And then uh, that's one of the original um, 
one of the original Death Star. And then there's also, on the front here, this is the creme de la creme, there's Green Grocer. Right? Very cool. Very cool. Uh, now there's a whole other side. So you also have a whole bunch of minifigs. He has stuff that's set up that he's pre-built. There's a whole bunch of uh, character figures, all reasonably priced. Dragons, Chima, kind of a little bit of everything there. We'll flip around. You got uh, Disney Hidden Side. That I was looking at that uh, the Hidden Side, uh, the high school there, what have you. Uh, Jurassic Park stuff. Lots of it kicking around. Do behind me super loud. <laughs> the, uh, Monster Fighters Train. Dino stuff. It's pretty cool. T Rex Hunter. Pirates of the Caribbean stuff still in stock, which is great. These are these are some of the sets that I had gotten rid of. I had all of those ships, gotten rid of all of them. There's Lego Movie, got some Minion stuff, Creator. Here's the uh, I believe this was this was the Lego store from the from the Southgate opening. So um, Spring Lantern, Ninja Turtles, Pirates of the Caribbean, 399 for the Silent Mary. Um, one of them, that's one of them I got rid of. The other one I got rid of was this guy here. Tide was wasn't big, and I got rid of this guy as well. So um, great sets gone now, but um, I'm okay with that. Moving forward, we'll get some other stuff and do some other builds, and I don't know, we'll maybe pick those up someday. Harry Potter section, and then Ninjago, and that kind of ends the Lego side of things. But like I said, these stores carry a ton of other stuff. So here's all the uh, six scale stuff. Uh, hot toys um, they, they're, they're amazing great figures awesome to look at uh, so much cool stuff he does comics as well he does cards he does baseball he does everything um, it's kind of endless in here so there's pop figures you got supplies um, so real neat stuff so yeah if you're in the West End and you're at the Lego store these three stores are bang 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 right close to each other so Oh, that's super cool. Thanos. That is awesome. That is very cool. So yeah, if you're on the on the West End in Edmonton, this store's right across the street. So it's, I mean, you got three very decent stores um, very close to each other. So all worth checking out. Yeah, so, uh, well, of course this catches my eye. There's a bunch there. I mean, that I, I, I sort of put which ones are pre Very cool. and which ones are... Alrighty, so we're at our last stop. So it is Hobby Wholesale, as you can see from the sign right here. So these guys are located on Calgary Trail in Edmonton, um, in Argyle. So we're going to go in. They've got a, a huge selection of everything in there as well. So we'll go in and uh, check out what they've got. And uh, yeah. Alright, so here we are in Hobby Wholesale. And uh, yeah, they've got, like, it's... It's a huge Lego section. So this is all the city stuff over here. And same thing with Hobby Wholesale. Um, a lot of their prices you're going to find are... They, they, with this store they stay on the price of... Same as Lego. Um, but here's all the city stuff. And in cases you'll find actually that they'll have discontinued sets here. But they're still at the same prices. Like they don't... They don't follow the Bricklink pricing or anything. They just follow whatever the retail was. That's what it sells for. And if it happens to be here then uh, that's what you get it for. So um, that was the city side. So here's some uh, Avenger stuff, Spider-Man, Lego movie stuff is still here. Hidden side, there's the shrimp shack. I was actually looking for this for the longest time, but nobody had stock on it. Poe Dameron's X-Wing, Kylo Ren. Yeah, like I said, lots of stock. They have the helmets in stock. They have the TIE Fighter. They got the buildable figures, which is cool. Some of these are kind of neat. The ATAT, -AT, Yoda. We'll take a walk down here and check out the other side. So here's the, here's Mario. Uh, I wonder if they have, that's the Series 2 stuff. Um, pretty cool Series 2 figs. I had a buddy that was looking for that stuff. There's the Minecraft stuff. There's some under other buildable bricks into uh, this. This is kind of funny. Look at this. This one here is Brickheads. 
Look at that guy. This is not a Lego product, but it's got the brick heads. And then it has like the Comic-Con logo up top there that's not Comic-Con. It says Modular Mini. That's kind of funny. Toy Story 4. Some architectural stuff in here. Minions. Trolls. There's the, uh, the Story in Anne sets. And 109. So like I said, same price as, as uh, the Lego store. Come over to this side. They do have Duplo, my favorite. Um, here's all the friends stuff. Friends, and then there's more creator stuff. There's the three-in-one modular. That's a cool modular. The three-in-one ship. I haven't built that yet. Um, all this good stuff. And then on the other side here, they do have some classic bricks, as well as, like I said, the Duplo side of things. We'll come around the corner here. These excavators are cool. I don't know why I got such a thing for excavators, but I do. Um, Ninjago. So lots of cool Ninjago stuff. Uh, here's their art, which they have pretty much all of it there. It doesn't look like they have the Iron Man, which everybody has the Iron Man. And yeah, it's like I said, same price. You can see that or not, 149. Um, Harry Potter. There's the new custom minifigs. There's the books. That stuff. So yeah, there's there's tons and tons here. Oh, one more section. We gotta get down. Here's my new found fun. Oh, look at that. They actually have these in here. So they have them in at $549, which is Lego pricing. But Costco, you can get that for I believe $549 shipped. It's a, it's like a hundred dollars less. Um, so we have the Technic line of stuff. All that good stuff. We have Dom's charger down here. We have, uh, there's the bike. There's Dom's chargers down there. Jeep, this guy was at Costco for one, or sorry, 200, and it, I heard rumor that it went to 150 at one point, but uh, this is one that's added to the list. I think I have to do that one coming up soon, so. There's the McLaren Rubicon. I still don't have this guy. We will get that though. That's kind of cool. Look good on a shelf. But yeah, that's it for the uh, the Technic stuff. So this is neat. I've always seen these things. These wooden, like the die cast models, but I've never known like there's there's a built one there. I never know you could get them in motion. Let me check this out. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat and all the gears and all the cogs and everything running. Just something different. Like I said, this store has a ton of everything. You can see the roof is like littered with airplanes and stuff. We'll take a gander over at the RC side of things. I just wanted to get through the Lego stuff first. Puzzles, you name it, it's here. Um, it's a store you could spend a lot of time in checking stuff out. Ooh, they got some Mario Kart stuff. They have cars, the die cast. They have lots and lots of neat stuff. Um, over in that other section, there's, there's Playmobil over there and you can see all the dump trucks and all that cool stuff. But, uh, yeah, oh, this, I would have killed for this when I was a kid. Look at this thing. Holy smokes. Man, if I wasn't sewing a Lego, maybe I'd get, get that thing. Have all my Hot Wheels flying around the basement. So, yeah, we'll take a walk over to the uh, RC side and take a look. Okay, these aren't the cheap excavators, but this thing here, uh, yeah, like, you could actually dig holes with this. I tried to lift this thing, and it is like, yo, it's heavy. It's super heavy. That thing's probably, like, 50 60 pounds it's ridiculous uh, but yeah they have excavators they have slot car stuff which is super neat slot cars have changed a lot since I was a kid they uh, they have these big uh, quarter scale stuff and eight scale or I don't know if they don't eight scale but quarter scale but it's pretty neat they have some cool cars 30 bucks a car they get some rally stuff and then from the roof here it's all aircraft planes this guy's been here for a long time um, helicopters, they do all that stuff. They do the model railroad. They have back in that section over there. And then they have a parts section back in that corner for all their RC cars. And, uh, yeah, models. You name it. This is, uh, there's a lot going on in this store. So, like I said, if you're, if you're in the Edmonton area, it's well worth a look. And, uh, take a come, come, come see it. Everything in the store. Airbrushes, you name it, they have it. Pretty cool store. So I found the metal art display stuff, so look at this. That is awesome. Look at all the pieces in there. Problem is you gotta build it. <laughs> it's cool stuff, but 
I don't know if I'd have the patience for that stuff. It is uh, amazing that R2-D2 and that C-3PO are very cool sets. Okay, so we are back from our little shopping excursions and messing around and what, it, what it, all the stuff or all the good stuff we were doing. A um, little bit kind of a mixed bag today. So yeah, stopped it. Just went by the Lego store, went in there, and, and Lego store we just picked up one cup, got out of there relatively good. Actually, that's not where we started, but whatever. I just got some tiles. This is all they had left for tiles. I got some of those cheese heads and then they had some uh, grates that I just topped off the cup with and then of course they put some extra scoops and that good stuff in the bag for me. Um, but our first stop was Mastermind where, uh, like I said, this stuff I, I, I've never done anything with it but I thought hey let's give it a shot. So Mastermind actually, these guys are $24.95 Canadian for this. This is the vid or video or whatever it's called. So that's what it is, uh, but $24.99, sorry, and it comes with this little like case thing, so uh, let's see if I can get on that, there it is. So on this little case thing, and it has these, these they call them records or whatever, and you put them in and I guess you can, um, you can um, go online and download different music and stuff. So I just, uh, more curiosity than anything, and being that they're $24.99 and then I got the other one for 50% off, I got a couple of them. Um, and then these are, there's minifigures, so they're blind boxes of minifigures. And these minifigures are uh, $4.99 each and then this one was $2.50 because, well, it was buy one, get one 50% off. So we did that. Uh, and then I picked up this guy. So um, 75302 is the official Lego set. And now this is the set that hasn't been released yet. It's not out um, until the first, but we got two. Um, and the reason I got two, I'm not being greedy. I'm not a greedy guy. Um, I got two just simply because I got one of my other buddies wants one. So I picked it up. They work out to $80 a piece for us basically, which is perfect. So um, I'll build one of those. I'm probably going to build that tonight, I think. That'll be kind of cool. Build that guy up. And and then I didn't pick anything up at Wayne's there. I just, there's lots to look at and lots to see and I'm processing in my head what I want. Uh, same thing with Hobby Wholesale. There's quite a bit of stuff there I wanted, but you know what? I'm not gonna get around to it right now. Uh, I've got a big, I'm gonna do a road trip next weekend. I'm gonna go down to Calgary and see Tony. I've got some stuff there I wanna pick up. So trying to be a little cautious of that. And we might go for a little drive tomorrow because I think something that I've been looking for for a little while might've come available. So, um, yeah, you know what guys, thanks again if, uh, for, for the thousand subscribers and hitting that, that milestone with me. That was good. My first goal in the, this, all this whole thing. And, uh, if you like what you saw, remember, you know, like subscribe, um, and, uh, hope to bring you guys some good, more, co or more good content. Like I said, this is kind of a, um, a mixed bag here and, uh, but this was my day. It's what I did today. So tomorrow will probably be strictly Lego. And I think we're going to start talking about some Technic stuff and, and what have you. And But yeah. All right. Talk to you guys later.